Hello, I'm Kay from the Asset team. And in this video, I will show you how to add a completely new page to your website and how to edit the navigation accordingly. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist for which you'll find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. Now, in order to help you complete this website project, you'll find a link in the description of this video where you can download the course files. Now, this course is free and in order to allow a maximum of people to follow along, all the tools used in this course are also free. And even if you don't have a web hosting and domain, you could always create a website locally on your machine with tools like Local by Flywheel, for example. But if you want to take this to the next level, you may want to consider an even more powerful combo with the Essential or Business Toolkits from Astra which will not only give you access to priority support, but also access to several premium plugins like Astra Pro, premium starter templates, but also access to the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin. A popular all-in-one add-on that enhances Elementor's capabilities, offering more than 50 cool widgets, like the content toggle widget, the before and after slider widget, or the popular hotspots widget just to name a few, as well as 200 plus pre-built blocks for all of your Elementor needs. Because most probably, once you're done with this course and realize that there is no limit to what you want to create, you will want to take it to the next level. Now, I will get back to this later in the course, but if you're interested, you will find a link to get ultimate add-ons for Elementor in the description below. So in WordPress, you want to go to Pages, Add New Page, and we're going to call it Testimonials. Then click on the little eye to hide the title. Next, click on the Astra settings icon in the top right corner. And where it says container layout, you want to select full width. Next, click on publish and publish one more time. Next, click on edit with Elementor. And here, click on the plus sign. And we're going to select this structure. So click on it. And with our container selected, open the structure panel and let's rename it testimonials. Now let's close this for the time being. And still with our container selected, where it says minimum height, you want to change the unit to VH and you want to change the value to 80 VH. Next, where you see gaps, you want to give it a gaps of 20 pixels for the column and 20 pixels for the row. Next, click on the style tab and where you see background type, click on classic. And for the color, you want to select theme color number nine. And next, click on advanced. In where you see padding, you want to click on the link icon to unlink the values. And you want to give the container a top padding of 60 pixels, a right padding of 40 pixels, a bottom padding of 120 pixels, and a left padding of 40 pixels. Next, let's open the structure panel and let's start renaming the rest of our containers. So as usual, organizing the name of your containers is going to help you in the long run. So let me collapse this. As you can see, if I click here, this is the left subcontainer and this is the right subcontainer, which in turn has two subcontainers. So to make it easier, let's rename it. So the first one is going to be left and the second one right. Now let's expand the right container and the first sub subcontainer is going to be right top. And the last one is going to be right bottom. So let's select the left container, then go to style, background, background type classic, and the color should be set to theme color number five. Next, click on advanced and give it a padding of 40 pixels all around. Next, in the structure panel, click on the right top container, change the minimum height unit to VH and give it a value of 34. Now let's do the same thing for the right bottom container. Let's change the unit to VH and let's give it a value of 34. Now let's click on publish to save our work. Next, in the left container, click on the plus sign. And now let's drag and drop an image widget. Click on choose image. Now let's select this image here. Then click on select. Click on style. And let's change the width value to pixels. And the same thing for the max width. And now let's give it a value of 37 pixels for each. And for the opacity, let's give it an opacity of 0, 0,3. Next, click on the plus sign and start typing testimonial. Now let's drag and drop a testimonial widget just below. And next, let's open our course files 
click on the text subfolder and let's open the text file for the testimonials page. Next, let's copy the text for the first testimonial and let's replace it here. And let's do the same thing for the name and for the title. Next, click on choose image and let's pick this image here. Then click on select. Next, click on the style tab and where you see text color, we're going to select theme color number six. Next, click on the name sub tab and for the text color, let's select theme color number two. And next, click on the title sub tab and for the text color, let's pick theme color number nine. Awesome, but now we want to center the content. So make sure you select the left container, then go to the layout tab and where it says justify content, you want to align it in the center and where it says align items, you also want to align it in the center. Next, let's hit publish to save our work. And next you want to select the right top container, then go to style and where you see background type, click on classic. And for the background color, we want theme color number one. Next, click on advanced. And for the padding, let's give it a value of 40 pixels all around. Next, select the right bottom container, go to style, background type, classic. But this time the color is going to be theme color number four. And once again, go to advanced and give it a padding of 40 pixels all around. So as you can see, it's looking good, but we want some space between the two sub containers. So select the right container, then go to gaps, row, and give it a value of 20 pixels. All right, let's close the structure panel. Then let's right click on this image, copy, right click here in the right top container and hit paste. And let's do the same thing in the right bottom container and paste. Next, let's copy the testimonial widget, copy. Now let's right click on the image in the right top container and hit paste. Now let's go back to the project files and copy the respective text and just replace it. Let's change the image and let's select this image here. Hit select, then back into the course file and let's change the text accordingly. copy and paste. Now go to style, typography, and let's give it a size of 17 pixels. Next, right click, copy. Next, in the right bottom container, right click on the image and hit paste. And once again, copy the respective text and replace it. Copy and paste. Copy, and there you go. Next, click on choose image, and let's select this image here. Then click on select. Awesome, now let's click on publish to save our work. And if we preview our page, as you can see, it's looking beautiful, simple and to the point. But there is an issue. If you look at the navigation, there's no way we can access this page from the home page or from any other page on our website. So how do we edit our navigation? Well, it's super simple. So first of all, let me go back into the normal view and let's go back to the WordPress admin. So click on the Elementor icon, exit to WordPress, click on the logo in the top corner. And next you wanna to go to appearance, menus. And right here we can see the testimonials page, but if you can't find it, you can go to view all or to search. So here I'm just going to select testimonials and click add to menu. And next, I'm going to drag and drop it right between services and contact. And then I'm going to click on save menu. And now if I go in the top left corner and hover over the name of the website, click on visit site. As you can see, now we can see the testimonials page in the navigation. And if I click on it, it takes me right there. Now there's one more thing we need to add on this page and it's simply the title of the page. So for that, you wanna click on edit with Elementor. Next, we're going to drag and drop a heading widget just above this image right here. So you may have to play around a little bit with it before you release and then release. Now let's change the title to testimonials. For the HTML tag, let's give it a tag of H1, then go to style. And for the text color, let's select 
theme color 9 and for the typography let's give it a size of 40. Next let's click on publish to save our work and now our page is ready for prime time. So as you can see adding a new page and editing the navigation accordingly is super easy. And now that the content of our website is ready in the next video I will show you how to make our website fully responsive. <laughs>